Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. Disregarded. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was! I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Principal Wells, I know this looks bad. Thank you for your validation, Miss Price. May I continue? With your permission? Sorry. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No. Because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or- Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel- Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. 
Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Go, Mom. You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> I get it. This is about Blackwell's money troubles. Will you be dragging every other scholarship student into your office today as well? Damn. Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price, I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. <sighs> But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is what such... What was that, Miss Price? <sighs> Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. No. Nothing to add. I'm glad. Though Chloe may not have been the mastermind of yesterday's events, it was, as I prefaced, the proverbial last straw. In light of your many past transgressions, I have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year. But it was the other girl's idea. She confessed. And she will be punished accordingly but that does not absolve Chloe of her responsibility. I am truly sorry it has come to this, but Chloe will have the chance for reinstatement in the fall. Her actions, beginning now, will be weighed heavily in that decision. Do you understand me, both of you? Yeah, I mean, as much as I ever do. Chloe, we understand, Mr. Wells. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. 
Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. Fuck them. <clears throat> Bunch of fascists. Hey, uh... Just wanted to say... It sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Maybe Kim was the class I hated the least. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... <laughs> imagery. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Finally, what I actually came here for. Jackpot. Wait, what the hell? Damn it, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you?
Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Another letter to Max. That I'll never send. At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. Drugs are free here. <laughs> Man, why didn't anyone tell me before? Blackwell's criminal element strikes again. Better go before Wells pins it on me. I guess these stage lights are for the Tempest. Hmm. What could the Tempest use more of? Everybody wants to have a good time, right? No more extracurricular activities. No more curricular activities either. But whenever I needed to bum one, no one here smokes. Fuck this place. Max would have loved this shit. Three guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Wells's car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. Elliot and I have gone to school together since we were in kindergarten. Until today. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I, uh, was suspended. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Uh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, it sucks for Rachel, too. She was kicked out of the play because of me. She'll live. Harsh, man. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Oh, right. Good call. Did you get my text? About hanging out afterwards? Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans. But maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. My mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later.
Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. His head much? That has to be Skip's car. It's about damn time. David, please. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment. Which, of course, just makes this worse. I'll handle it. Chloe, after today, Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. I don't care. I know. That's what we need to talk about. This isn't a fight, Chloe. It's a conversation. Remember that. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Chloe, we just want to help. <laughs> I'm sure. I know what you did. The money in my purse. I appreciate it, Chloe. But where did it come from? Does that really matter? I can't turn a blind eye. We need money, Mom. I'm providing as best I can. I appreciate what you've done. I'm just worried about you, Chloe. <laughs> this is so pointless. I don't understand what we're doing here. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. David, that's out of line. You weren't with us in there. Chloe was treated unfairly. Now you're making excuses for her? Chloe needs to take responsibility. I decide what Chloe needs, not you. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I don't want to fight. I care about your mother very much. And you, too. I'd like for us to start over. What do you say? Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. David, do you really think now is the right time? Joyce, please. We must be a united front. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you saw how I was treated in there. Now you want to treat me the same way? I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. You want to see my shit so badly? Sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy. Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Oh, David. 
Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I forgive you. You are under a terrible influence. I just worry about you, but that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well, what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Ugh.
This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. Leave no trash box unopened. That's my motto. I think I'm all smashed out. For now. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. Hmm. Huh. <sighs> Damn, you cigarettes. All great art is made on the insides of car hoods atop ships in the middle of junkyards. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Got it. I can't believe Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. Crazy that something so destructive can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. In conclusion, fire, pretty sweet. Magazines are so gross. Who would look at this? Okay, I'm still looking, but 
It's only because I'm so fixated by how weird it is. A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. You're a long way from the country club, guy. Now this is a vortex club I wouldn't mind joining. Gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. This rug has some miles on it. This is no good. Bottles, bottles everywhere, and not one beer to drink. Wow, I should angry graffiti more often. First you take my mom, then you take my home. G fuck you, David. Glass looks way prettier when it's broken. Wonder what else that's true for. Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. You're a long way from the beach. Don't tell me what to do. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. This one won't work. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. Really thought crime paid better. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? In official car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. Here we go, the pick of the litter. This mat has seen some things, mostly feet. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. 
I guess those days are now officially over. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. No, not going over there. This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. Here's hoping for a holiday miracle to light up my ride. Better head back to the truck. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially... You should cover that life-endangering floor hole quite nicely. Thank you. 
You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes. Okay? Good talk. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Yeah? Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? I'll see you soon. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. The inaugural truck tag. You only get one chance to make a first expression. The eye sees all. Does your truck look like a Christmas party on wheels? Yeah. Does Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife? I knew there was something off about that guy. What do we have here? Most people probably wouldn't wear a beanie they found in a junkyard. Sucks for most people. Yep. This'll do. Fixing the truck was hard work. Time to kick back and light up when I'm done looking around.
shit. I slept all day. Wh what the hell? Dad? Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? miss him so much. I wonder if it burned like this the day, the day it happened. Dad, what are we doing here? Are you trying to tell me something? Dad? Dad? Do I even like marshmallows? Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. 
It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Of getting burned. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I don't know. I'm not supposed to give rides to strangers. What if I promise you free candy? Hop in. You've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A uh, pirate flag? A uh, bright green light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me. Of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc, there's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. 
The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Uh, sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey. I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. 
It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. It's important to mark my territory for all future Junk Shack visitors. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new ward. No, I just need a photo of David. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Price, get your ass in here. Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that woman? Ah! ah! God, jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk.
Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Wait, Frank got a puppy? For real? Ah, oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Shit. The mill burned down. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. Fight the power. Oh, man. I hope Argus and Bowser are okay. <laughs> what does Frank really need to remember? sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. Part of a balanced breakfast. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? That's an insane amount of beans. Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. Hey there. It's okay, little guy. Aw, oh, shit! Pompadou, get up here! Pompadou? You little killer. Wow, that pillow is definitely dead. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. A throne fit for Frank. Because Frank finally gave up on the stake. Is this what I think it is? Ah, shit. I'm in the red. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name. It's French. Okay, but he's not a poodle, Frank. No, he's not. But I'm gonna treat him like one. Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. God, Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. 
Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. No shit, Frank. You think I don't know about hiding things from other people? I'm a teenager. Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? I'm... I'm not. Just hanging with a friend here. A friend I don't know much about. Tell me, Frank. Seeing any girls lately? I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You... You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. I shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks... for... telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh... heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? I did have it... yesterday. But I snuck it into my mom's purse. Good for you, Price. Taking care of your own. You can pay me some other time. I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. Kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? I, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't feel right to go through his room. Does it feel right that he stole a grant from me? From you, or from Damon? Same difference. Well, it's not my problem. Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. 
I'll do it. Good deal. be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. I should come hang around here during finals. Make everybody jealous. What would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. They're just too high risk. Just... Ugh. Now that I'm gone... Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. Besides Rachel, obviously. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Your shirt looks like the tea leaves they used to tell people's fortunes. How's my future looking? Bright and sunny. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well... Good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. 
Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... You think we're... together? It looks to me like you've got a thing for her and maybe she has a thing for you. And I wouldn't want to get in the way. I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... Confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Come on. There's Evan. Putting his pretentious art above his sanity, as usual. In a way, that's uh. kind of badass. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks really ridiculous. Hey, uh... Evan, as intelligent as you look right now, you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You were the only person who signed my petition. I mean, seriously signed it. That's... pretty sad. I'm a low bar, but did you really expect people to care? People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? <laughs> Looks like you were right. Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Samuel. Blackwell's... Uh... Resident creepy groundskeeper. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others. I'm, uh, <laughs> looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. 
So, uh, <laughs> what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay... Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. And, uh, what, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely and afraid. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. Huh. <laughs> That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. Such a nice white door. <laughs> Though, it feels like it's missing something. Doesn't it? Too bad I can't. Nice work, Samuel. Blackwell Academy. Conserving water since... never. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. Locked. Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. Come on. Hey! Shit! I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Time for a fresh start. Here we go. So tempting, but <sighs> Evan will see me, for sure. <laughs> and he sounds like he's in the mood to get me in trouble. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works.
Definitely cheers the place up. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. Skip, how's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. If you keep violating students' personal rights, you're going to get fired. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know... Patrol? You know Wells doesn't really respect you, right? You're just a, a rent-a-cop who needs a haircut. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I, I thought we were friends too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look! I am really... Sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. You're... you're sorry? Y you just looked at my tits. Y you did. You stared right at them. Oh, shit. I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. W what? Is that, uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know about- En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. Huh? I'm here? I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. All right, which one is Drew's room? <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Elliot Hampton's room. Wonder what he's up to right now.
Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy for him. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken places. It's been so long since Elliot and I actually went to a concert together. Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell. I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or <laughs> really bad. <laughs> That's not half bad. Okay, <laughs> dark. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? Elliot is way more artistic. Oh, Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. <laughs> Wait, are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? Wow. I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. Elliot's mom seems nice. Lucky Dana. <laughs> Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> huh. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. Elliot likes to write poetry about me, eh? <laughs> what do I want to say in response? Roses are red, violets are blue, and you're kind of a creeper, dude. I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but I think it'd be just as awesome over the counter. Doubt I'll ever see my name on one of these. Too many chances to screw up before senior year. Yep, yeah, uh huh. Definitely Drew's room. Good. <laughs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew... Where would I hide my money? <sighs> Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four-digit code. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. Look at that. More numbers. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. Plenty of possible combinations here.
Durgeron. Yeah, that fucker's dead. <laughs> Bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. Uh, awesome. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. <laughs> Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? <laughs> they look so happy. Yes! This is kind of fun. Ah, oh. did little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of here. Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so... Why? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff, let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are going to kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my <coughs> fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm just... Oh. Where is it? Oh. Please! Just give me one. Oh. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. <laughs> Sorry to have to do oh. this, kid. No oh. one steals from me. Oh. No one. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Let me go. Oh. No. Oh. Your brother said to stay inside. Oh. <laughs> It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you are one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good luck running on that knee now. Bye-bye football. Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Oh, 
Ugh. Ugh. Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. I... I didn't do anything. You kept my brother safe. Drew, you need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah, no. No way. What, um, what are you going to do? <sighs> about Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you. This day has been so messed up. And that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel. <laughs> SG. Must be Steph. Sucks that she has to miss this. Chloe Price presents Firewalk, Laser Light Spectacular. Of all the possible scenarios involving Victoria Chase and swords, this one is easily the least exciting. Drama teachers always seem so <sighs> dramatic. Sup, Mr. Keaton. Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love exists? <laughs> sure, I think so. But it's a lot weirder and scarier than poets and pop songs make it out to be. <laughs> you might be surprised, my dear. Budding dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Uh -huh. Word. Stephanie was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is... Weird. Did Doug dig David's garden? Looks or like Victoria David has finally it? pushed Dana over the edge. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? How if I garden? know? 
Or did David? Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David? After all the work Steph did, it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. Sports just look so uh, exhausting. Drew seems to be the captain of every blackball sport. Man, I hope he's okay. See, another reason to be thankful for my uh, recent life change. Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. Uh, all right. Um, hey, Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, sup, fair maiden. Great, uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. That's some shameless eavesdropping there, Samantha. Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. Now listen to me. Nathan's dad looks like he's really laying into him. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing right now. But Dad... When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Nathan's dad sucks. But you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe. I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> for what? You didn't kill my dad. Or did you? <laughs> that was a joke. I... know. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. Actually, the two of you are really similar. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. I think you stood up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. Nathan's hurt, and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? When I'm super pissed, <laughs> the last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. But maybe it's what I need. Nathan acted like he didn't want our help yesterday. But trust me, he was glad we did. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. That's actually super helpful. R.A. will suck as Prospera. If V.C. had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, Slut? Guess they don't call it drama for nothing. Did 
Rachel? Oh, come on, V. You got this. You got this. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. What are you two doing here? Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Rachel might be taking the high road, but not me. I know how much she wants to perform. All I need to do is convince Victoria that it's in her best interest to quit. I don't know. Have you really thought this through, Victoria? Performing tonight could be the equivalent of Social suicide. What are you talking about? You think I'm going to take advice from a loser like you? You've seriously lost your mind. Do you see any members of the Vortex Club in this play? Newsflash. Theater isn't cool. People love theater. It's cool. Theater is about standing in front of everyone so they can study your every flaw. Every flaw. The dramatic arts at Blackwell are venerated by... Uh, what am I saying? I don't have to justify myself to you. You know the phrase, drama queen? It's not a good thing. It's the thing no one wants to take to the prom. Chloe, you're being a little harsh, don't you think? No, but she's right. She is? I am? Oh, what was I thinking? Oh, look at this thing. Oh, I can't go out like this. I can't play this part. I don't know the lines. I don't understand the stupid play. I don't even like theater. You don't know the lines? Hello? I was cast as understudy to you? What were the chances I was actually going to be here? So... I quit! The show can go to hell for all I care. I'm not going down with it. You outdid yourself, Price. <laughs> I guess I did. <sighs> I better get ready. Oh, hey. Uh, that's mine. The gloomiest shirt of the bunch. How did I know you were going to pick that one? I guess Prospera knows all. Oh, okay. I better start getting into costume before... Sweet tarnation. We're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. That's it. I will not abide this lack of professionalism any longer. I quit! Victoria? In fact, I am protesting the entire Blackwell Arts Program. It's time our talents were appreciated and not squandered by subpar faculty. <laughs> Good luck with your train wreck. Touché, fates. Touché. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost.
What? Oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. I seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> it wouldn't be called a makeup mirror if it wasn't supposed to have makeup all over it. <laughs> when life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. <sighs> Got it. Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? <sighs> Looks like I'm late. As usual. The only thing worse than looking at spandex is being forced to wear it. By accident most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. You. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. <sighs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless. Generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most 
mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried, cried, <clears throat> hell is empty and all the devils are here. Yes. But are they, Ariel, safe? All right. I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the isle in troops. Bravo! Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed, but there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My liberty. Indeed. Thy liberty? Nay. This, most of all, I will not grant. Th that's not her line. Is it? What's going on? But thou assured my freedom. <coughs> Didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way Shh. off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures, I prefer to know thou still cared for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Say yes! Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. You crushed it! So good. You're a born thespian, my dear. I'll be chasing you down next year. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. Thanks. What the hell just happened? The strangeness of your Was that story real? Put heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! As wicked do as e'er my mother brush with raven's feather from unwholesome fen. Drop on you both! A southwest blow on ye, 
and blister you all o'er. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Oh ho, oh ho, would it had been done. Thou didst prevent me, I had peopled else this isle with Calibans. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Where should this music be? In the air, or the earth? This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. <laughs> I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit of what else in the world, do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands, with the help of your good hands. You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. Keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. <laughs> he was shitting himself. <laughs> that dude owes me. What if I told you that the entire fate of our production rests upon your slender shoulders? <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You know, you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. 
So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? You were literally perfect tonight. I was blown away. Yeah, I feel really awesome. If you told me this morning I'd be this happy tonight. <sighs> You've gone through so much shit today. Right now's pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night, let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but like, eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... Uh, why not? What about money? I thought you were a high-rolling criminal now. I've got the money I took from Drew's, but... Rachel, I feel terrible about what happened. Maybe we can give it back. Or pay that Damon guy off. Yeah, maybe. We'll figure it out, Chloe. Anyway, I've got more than enough to start us out. I always get birthday money for my dad. Or should I say, hush money. Any more questions? How far could we possibly get without a car? I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? Yeah, I can. That's hot. In other words, we've got transportation covered. <sighs> I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. That doesn't sound like Chloe Price. Wouldn't it hurt your mom? She doesn't deserve that, right? I don't deserve to live in the middle of my parents' mistakes. Right. Of course you don't. Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you show me L.A.? Perfect. 60 degrees every night, you and me on the Santa Monica Pier, gorging on food truck food, smoking up, looking at the moon shining on the waves. And a beautiful blonde man will sit next to us and smile at you. Yeah, okay. He'll say, I like your eyes. And I'll say, back off. She's with me. You're full of shit. <laughs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Uh, 
How about, um... Oh. Is that convincing enough? Yeah. Oh, holy shit. Right? What is this stuff? I think it's a sign. I think we should leave tonight. Really? If you want to, I'm ready. Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. For you or for me? I gotta say. My clothes look damn good on you. Cool. Let's do it. And then, we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. That sounds perfect. You're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our surprise star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Yeah, no thanks. I'm more of a... Burger a la king kind of gal. She's funny, this one. I'm aware. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, <laughs> of course. Great. I just need to wash off, then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, <laughs> Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? 
<laughs> totally. <laughs> your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And, Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? Huh. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew, and I'm holding on to a grand of his money. Rachel and I couldn't be leaving town soon enough. I bet there's like, not even a single Cheeto stuck in this thing. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Drew's okay though. Hmm. How to clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday? That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel. They say all news is local, but damn. It's like a thousand times more skeevy when the skeeviness is all polite to your face. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? Yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. What do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, I suppose that's also true. So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? <laughs> what would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. Duty calls. <laughs> good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. So this is what normal looks like. It's somehow way more boring and way weirder than I imagined. It's crazy to picture Rachel growing up here and being happy here, at least before she met me. And now I'm taking her away. <laughs> or is she taking me away? This doesn't really seem like the kind of place people run away from. <sighs> what am I saying? Fuck this place. cabinets do you need? Oh, I think 
that's an original who gives a shit. Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Which is what the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. Solved it. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. So clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. You borrowed that shirt from Rachel. We call it the Rorschach shirt. What do you see? Uh, I guess I see a bird. Interesting. Well, wash it before you bring it back. So, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. She sure was. And I imagine whatever trick the two of you pulled to get her back on stage was even more dramatic than the play. We can be very persuasive together. Persuasive. Yes, that's a word for it. I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Uh, what's it like being married to the DA? Much like being married to anyone else, I imagine. But with a lot more secrets, right? Secrets? Like attorney-client privilege and all that. Well, as district attorney, he brings cases against criminals on behalf of the state. He doesn't defend them. Of course not. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could... Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. All right, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. I wonder if this will be the most expensive thing I've ever eaten off of. It's off to the table with you.
Yes, Chloe? Uh, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. Theater's not really my thing. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again, I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. Damn. Shots fired, Shakespeare. Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Something else? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh, thanks? Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Glasses. Damn. The ambers are fancy as shit. Uh... It's the triangle-shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? <laughs> you are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think. Time to- Light some candles and bless this joint up a bit. <laughs> Finally, Mrs. Amber has her back turned. <sighs> Time to fix this photo. Good.
the Amber family, and fire. What could possibly go wrong? So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Vocabulary. What about that fire? <laughs> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah. It's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Rachel? Ah, crap. I I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel, can you come help me find another Stop fork? Stop it, Chloe. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you, yesterday, at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough! You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you, and I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? 
Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother.